yesterday prayer and just seeking the Lord, you know, for a mess. I had some mess with the, I don't know, my heart was just heavy and everything. And I was looking in the, the, on the news, I was kind of watching the, 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 the boats and everything. And I've learned a long time to just give it to God. You know what, church? We're responsible for a lot of things, too. And, and it looked up there, and I looked up there, and it said, majority of the people that got elected in, uh, in uh, on, the, on the left, I think, got in because they were for abortion. Amen. Amen. The same thing, I want you to think about that for a minute. And, uh, and that, that included a lot of so-called Christians. Amen. Amen. 60, almost 65%, that's a lot of people in our nation. And or abortion, and all this was included in, in this. And I said, where is God's people at? Where is the Christians? I tell you, church, we need to, we need to get in the Bible. Now, I, I'm not upset about everything going on as far as you can do what you want to. I'm telling you, I, I try to get the church prepared for Jesus. Amen. 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 And so this world is getting in bad shape in our, in our, really our nation. Now, we're going to be responsible for our nation. Can I hear an amen? amen? Because, see, the Bible said there's going to be sheep nations and goat nations. But you know what? We've got to survive. The nation's got to survive before, uh, until the rapture takes place. Can I hear an amen? amen. amen. What are you trying to say, Brother Magger? I'm saying that, uh, that Israel, when God took the children of Israel out of Egypt, and you look in the book of Exodus and in other places where God told the children of Israel, now, I'm, I'm a, you're a holy people, a chosen people, and as long as you follow me, as long as you obey my laws, and, and the, the, the Hittites and the Jerusites and all these other nations, God said, I'm going to destroy them because they're so ungodly and, and, and uh, so wicked. And we're going to destroy them, and we're going to let you go in and take the land. Amen. Amen. And you don't have to worry about building houses because they got houses. You don't have to worry about the farms and the, and the land and, and the fruits and everything. They've already got it prepared for you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? In our church, they, they prospered. As they was taking the enemy and obeying God's word and begin to walk in God's word, amen, God began to bless Israel. But as we look now, they have begun to, amen, to mingle. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? Begin to mingle, mingle with the ungodly and the heathen. You know, they begin to take conform to them. Amen. And this is where we're at right now, church, in, in 2 Kings chapter 16, verse 1. In the 17th year of Pekah, the son of Ramola, Rem, Remapala, Ahaz, the son of Jotham, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. He did not... And he did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord in the way of the kings of Israel. Although they, they were they were built, had been walking in abomination, and was by understanding toward the photometer, this was one of the most wicked kings that Israel had. I mean, they was they were in abomination. In fact, as we look to the uh, into the history, they were they were committing uh, uh, actually abortions. Uh, they were killing babies. Amen. That's what abortion is. They say what they want to. It's killing babies, a human being. Amen. And they were sacrificing their babies on, a, on a, a, a God. Now, they say that this God had his arms held out, and it was made out of gold. And it, it, they say that it, it was so hot that when they, they put their little babies, they were sacrificing their babies. Now, church, we may not put me put them in, in kind of this kind of an idol, but they were still sacrificing babies because of their wickedness and because of their pleasure. Now, they call it all they want to. Amen. Now, I know there's some cases, amen, that they may have to uh, have abortion, but I don't agree with them because God is in control of all of it. But when they start, because of their pleasures and because of their lust and because of all,
all the things that they're worshiping. The, and that's what it is, worshiping the devil. Can I hear an amen? amen. You can look at it any way you want to. It's worshiping the devil. Amen. Now this says you, but now this is what it says. And, and uh, it says that he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem and did not have which was right in that which was in the sight of the Lord his God like David his father. But he walked the way of the kings of Israel in their abomination, in other words. And he made his son to pass through the ark according to the abominations of the heathen. Oh, they, they were worshiping this God. And, and they were looking to this God to bless him and everything. And, 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 and uh, so therefore they were sacrificed. He was even sacrificing his son. Amen. He wanted God to bless him. God will not and cannot bless something like this. Amen. 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 And what I'm saying, church, is they knew better than what they were doing. But you know what the Bible says in the book of Rome? They done because of their lust and because of their pleasure. Even though they were, they knew it was wrong, they were doing it. We are living the land right now. They know it's wrong. Most of them does. And, and they're still doing it. They're sacrificing this babies. Can I hear an amen? amen. Right. I'm just saying our nation is in bad shape, church, because when we as God's people are sitting back and going along with this, now church, there's some things that we can do, amen, I mean that God can change things. Can I hear an amen? amen. amen. Now this is what the Bible says. And made his son to pass through the far according to the abomination of the heathen, whom the Lord passed out from before the children of Israel. Now, church, he was went, went back and he was telling the children of Israel, you remember that God cast out all these heathen nations that were doing what you're doing right now. And I told you if you've done that, I will destroy you. And church, we can see in history that God let Israel be, be destroyed and be not able to cause other sins. Can I hear an amen? amen? And church, I believe with all my heart, if our nation don't get back to God and start standing up for God, I believe somewhere, somehow, God is going to destroy this nation. I know some say that, that, uh, that no, no, uh, we're, we're a, a Christian nation. If you're a Christian nation, we're going to uh, we can set by and let them kill the sacrifice of babies and have homosexuals look at bisexuals and, and bisexuals or anything you want to call it. Amen. And say it's okay. It's not okay. Amen. Amen. My heart was heavy burden today for this. Then uh, God direct me to Psalms chapter 106, verse 35. But the Bible says, but they they were made mingled, or they, they were made blood. They, they were actually uh, uh, seated or siding with them, saying it's all right and everything. And that's what I want to preach on tonight. They mingled with them. I mean, they were going along with it. Amen. And they were satisfied with what they were doing. And church, we can't do that is what it says. But they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works or their doings. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. David was said that Israel had become a snare to them. And church, we have been taught through the scriptures and through the oak, the country of God's laws, amen, that this is abomination. To God in church, it, the Bible says in Malachi that God is the same God. He's the same God back then, and He's the same God back today, church. And church, we better start get down on our knees and pray Amen. and ask God somewhere or somehow to change this nation, yes. or God somewhere or somehow is going to cause a curse yes. on Amen. this land. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on, bro. Bless you, Lord. This is what He says, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto the devils. Church, this is what they're doing today. They're sacrificing their sons and their daughters. Now, I, I brought this in because could you imagine taking that little baby and putting it place in that, that idol, that devil that, uh, that, that uh, was there red hot and taking that young baby, whatever it is, that he was a girl or boy or whatever, and, and laid it up on that, uh, in the arms of that uh, idol, 
And the baby began to scream and everything. Yes. But they had, they had the, those uh, other, uh, uh, well, priests and everything, black, dressed in black, and they would play their drums and everything else, is to cry out to yes. the, the cry of the babies. Right. Now, church, that sounds cruel, don't it? Yes. How could Israel let people do the stuff like that? Yes. How could they be so wicked? But we're doing the same thing in our nation, but worse, because they're taking little babies right out of the mother's womb, right after almost what in fact now they're they're born now, but that's what they want. They could kill that baby in time they want to, but they're going in that womb and taking pulling that baby apart. We yeah. gotta go face reality, church. Amen. You thank Amen. God is gonna sit there or, yeah. or look down there and see those little babies being torn apart and by piece by piece and everything and say, no, it's just a fetus. No, it's not a fetus, yeah. it's, a, it's right. a person. God right. put it in the book and God put the parts and it broke the parts hey. down and he had a plan, a place, a plan, and everything else for that child. Yes.
We think that we're so mean and we, we're so sophisticated and we're so powerful that we can't be taken. That I mean, that Israel was the most powerful nation in the world. Yeah. And that after they started sinning and turned it up, uh, to the devil and uh, to worship these idols and everything, God let them be sacked and destroyed because of their sin. He said, I will do you just like you done. And let those of that and you go to destroy. Right. Amen. That's why they did. They, they, they started taking the Bible out of school, taking the Ten Commandments out of school. Yes. Started to take the prayer. All they did about the Bible. Now they have no conscience. And, and, they're, and they're doing their children. I mean, parents will sit there and let them, and let them be taught and all this woke and everything. And they know it's not right, but they still let them do it. Well, we got, I got good news for you. Jesus is coming back. Amen. I said, Jesus is coming back. Amen. And he's coming back for those who are spotless. Yeah. Without Rachel. Can, can I hear an amen? Amen. Yeah. 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 You just shoot the cops who want to go. Jesus yeah. is coming back after a church that's spotless yeah. and everything. And you can, if you're part of this, uh, mingled with this, uh, these healers uh, and these doctrines of devils yeah. and part of the devils, you will not go up when Jesus yeah. comes back. Amen. Verse 39 says this, Thus will they defile with their own works, and went whoring with their own imperfections. Therefore, the, therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. <coughs> he, he wasn't against, he wasn't against other nations, he was against his people. You don't think God is looking to, at the church? And I pray the preachers will and the pastors will be held responsible. We have got Amen. the word of God. And church, I'm here to tell you, it's not, it's not telling you how to vote or whatever. You can do what you please. But my job is to preach the word of God and Amen. tell you that it's wrong. If you do this or go along with it, it's wrong. Amen. And you need to know it's wrong because then the blood is upon your hands, not mine. Amen. Amen. People get bad feet. Yeah, Goodbye. Bye. 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 They're stopping their tithes and everything. God will provide. Let them do it. God will provide. Amen. Amen. God will make a way. But it says that the Bible said, verse 4, there was, therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against the people, against the ones that he abhorred to his own inheritance, and gave them into a hand of the heathen. If they want to act like the heathers, be like the heathers, then God will just turn us over to the heathers because he's going to destroy them all. Amen. But God, the Bible says in Malachi, God is a God that doesn't change. If, if we don't straighten our uh, act up and, and repent and turn back to God, God will have to repent to Israel yes. and these other nations Amen. because we're doing the same thing or even worse and, and you think, they think we're getting by with it. But it starts with the leaders. Right. Amen. Amen. You can't be the law of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Well, you, know, you need to read the Old Testament. And you need to read the, read the New Testament. When Jesus comes back, we're going to go by his laws. Amen. 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 There ain't going to be no, uh, this, no this state and everything. It's going to be his laws or else. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and it says, He gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. We got Russia, we got China, we got North Korea, and, and well, they're afraid of us. We, we could not do them. You think, you think, I said, Israel was the strongest nation in the world, church. Nothing could defeat them until they begin to do all these things and begin to commit this all this sin, and therefore God let them be sacked and destroyed. Don't you think God will do the same for us? But I like that song. I'm walking with Jesus. Yes. I'm talking with Jesus. Yes. Amen. I got Jesus in me. Glory yes. to God. I know how to act. I know how to walk. Yes. I know how to talk. I've got Jesus yes. in me. Glory to God. And His Spirit will tell me how to walk. Yes. Glory to God. And what to do. He, the Bible said, let us have the same mind that Jesus had. And if I got the same
Amen. And Jesus said, I know how to, how to do these things. I have wisdom and knowledge not to do the things Amen. that a lot of folk all preachers are doing. Yes. Amen. 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 See, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new preacher, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So we're in Christ. So if we got the mind of Christ, amen, we will walk with Christ. Amen. Now the Bible says in Luke chapter 14, verse 27, Whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Amen. That means we've got to follow Jesus. Yeah. Now, we know I have never seen Jesus. Have you ever seen Jesus? Now, the Bible said, pick up your cross and follow him. Well, how in the world am I going to follow Jesus if I can't see him? Can somebody tell me how I'm going to see Jesus? Praise God. He gave us a spirit which is the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he gave us this. Amen. And he said, we got to do what burning the cross means. It means, praise God, that you're going to look to Jesus. He's the author and the finish of our faith. And he, he was shed. He died for our sins. And, and, he, and he washed us and cleansed us and put a spirit in us, glory to God, and give us all the benefits that we can walk yes. in him, that we can walk in his word, yes. and we will see and follow Jesus because if we follow the word and pick up our cross and walk in this Bible, we are following Jesus yes. out of the word, he says. Amen. In the beginning was the word, yes. and the word was God. And the word became flesh. I can see my Jesus. All I have to do is look in this word. And I see my Jesus. Because the Bible says the word became flesh. Well, mothers, hallelujah. So all I got to do is bind in Jesus. That when I pick up my cross. And follow him. David, if you follow Jesus every day. You're walking with Jesus. Yeah. And, you, and if you walk with Jesus, he's going to lead your strength. Amen. Now, Jesus said in St. John chapter 15, verse 5 and 6, For without me, you can do nothing. Amen. Amen. Without me, you can do nothing. If a man if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and withered, and, and men gather the end of the cast into the bar, and they are burned. So, what I'm saying is, Well, what must I do? If I got to walk with Jesus and talk with Jesus and follow Jesus, how am I going to follow him? The Bible said this word is a light unto my feet and a pathway, amen, a light to me, amen, yes. to the path. So if I walk in this word, he to tell me what I need to know, amen. And uh, see, I don't have to tell you to vote and how to vote. God will show you and tell you so people will get back, get back and heal. Right. Have a talk with him, I guarantee you will win. Right. Amen. Amen. You say, you all use upset the election. We had a great election. God, there's who you wanted. But he showed the people the payday is coming. Well, he, what he did, he revealed, Brother James, exactly how what they believe in and how they got right. in. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, Jesus said, I'm, he's, the, he, he's the vine, and we are the branches. Right. If we don't walk in him, walk in his word. Amen. Well, I don't know where that word is. Well, you study the Bible, you know. Amen. Amen. Holy oh, Spirit will lead you right to it. I'm not going to some dead guy up church where the pastor tells jokes and everything else and will give you the word. Now, we see that we've got to walk in Jesus and we've got to walk in God's word. That's how, that's how you're going to see Jesus. That's how you're going to obey him. Now the Bible tells us, and I've talked about being mingled. They were mingled with the heathen or the ungodly. 
they was being conformed. They were that just like the rest of them. Walking in God's word, Romans 12 and 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the regeneration of your mind. Start thinking and acting like Jesus and what he would do. Amen? That you may prove, that, that he may prove what is good and accept the perfect will of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. So we have to walk in God's word. Now church, now I believe with all my heart, the Bible says, and I, I can't remember the exact chapter or say in the Old Testament, the Bible tells us, and I think I'll bring you have my Sunday school lesson. The Bible said because of the priest, the priest, the preacher, the pastors, the leaders of the, the, of the word, they were helpless. And they were deceived and caused the people to drift away from God. That's what the pastors are doing today. Right. They're causing the, the church to drift away. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't be mangled with the ungodly. Don't be mangled. In other words, don't be conformed with their good. Now, we can't help them but uh, walk in a world that's full of, full of ungodly and everything, but we don't have to be with them. Right. Go along with them. Be conformed to them. Now walk in the council of the ungodly or stand through the way of sinners. That's what the old priests were doing in the, in the New Testament. And that's what the, the, the Pharisees described in, in Jerusalem. God told the priests to describe everything. They, that they were, that they were dead bones, dried up. And they would they have all kinds of different laws. I mean, they had all kinds of laws. You would be laws that wouldn't even need God's laws. They would make them up as it went. He said, you can't, and he said, you can't walk by them, believe, believe by them, and you don't want anybody else to believe by them. I'm just paraphrasing. What do you call that? Paraphrasing. Yes, amen. And it says, Nor stand in the way of Syria, nor sit in the seat of the, the strong, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth he meditate day and night. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, church used to be, when our nation was first founded, the nation was founded upon the God's laws, Amen. the Ten Commandments. Our law was founded on that. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. And the devil, it, it, it just, it, oh man, it just upset the devil. I've got to do something, somewhere, somehow, I've got to get rid of this. Well, I don't know what I'll do. I'll, see, the devil has plenty of time. Just real, real easy. He sneaks in the back door. He said, first thing I'll do, I'll get into the schools. Parents are too busy. They don't, they don't care. They can the school for a babysitter. And they begin to take prayer out of school. They begin to take the Bible out of school. They begin to take the commandments out of school. And I haven't been to school for a long time, but the, the we got a little sister that goes to high school, well, be the high. Teacher's purse is like a, like a uh, sailor, talks like a, I don't know why, and everything else, to so these other teenagers and stuff. Wait a minute, here it says, Now, set us in the seat of the sport, but he denied us in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. We get to know that word, church. We don't have to worry about anybody else. You gotta worry about taking care of yourself. Amen. 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 Now, the Bible says God was about to take Israel into the land of milk and honey. Also with the river of Jordan, Brother Mark. Oh man, they had a long journey and a hard time to get there, but they got there. They was going across that river of Jordan. God said, sure enough. Joshua, they keep people out, wash them up, clean them up, sanctify them, get them ready to go across. 
But God, Joshua had been the priest and the follower and the, and the really the symbol of Jesus. What poor Moses uh, before he got before he was died on the hill there, mountain, he gave uh, Joshua instructions. And it wasn't his word. See, when I preach to you, it's not my word. It's God's word. Amen. And Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 says, Now Joshua, this book of the law shall not be part out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate it for there a day and night, and thou shalt that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make So if we'll get back to God and start walking in His Word, we can make this country successful and make it prosper like it was one time before. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then we got to walk in Jesus. We got to walk in His Word. Then. This is the hardest thing to do for a Christian. I have, I have no trouble walking with, with Jesus. I have no trouble reading God's Word. I stay in God's Word. You know what my hardest job is? Believe it or not, it's praying. Man, the devil, if you don't believe me, just check yourself. When you start praying, that devil comes to your mind, and you, you'll, have, you'll have thoughts and you'll never have thoughts about Well, what this, what that, what are you going to do here? What, or the doorbell rang, or whatever. Something will happen. He can be praying. Because, see, when you start praying, and that's why the Bible tells us to always pray. And when we start praying and seeking God, we're getting in the will of God. We're getting in the, and where we can have a, a relationship with God. And therefore, the Spirit will begin to reveal things. God reveals things to me while I'm praying. I don't do it when I'm reading, but when I'm praying. I get a lot of my message when I'm praying. Yeah. Now, the Bible says in Luke chapter 21, 36, Why well, start for and pray always that you, be, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things which will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. These things are going to come to pass. But God gave us, God gave the, the Old Testament, and He gave us the same promise. He said, My people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. That means seeking God. God, I can't do this. God, we need your help. God, I stand with you. God, I can't do without you. I need your help. Show me what I need to do. Show me the way to go. Help me with this situation. My people shall call my name, so help us every place. See my face, and then God will show you where you need to turn. Amen. Turn to your wicked ways. And then I will hear from you. I will hear our prayers. Yes. And all that will heal. That's our nation. And heal our land. Church, we need our land healed. Don't look for Obama. Don't look for a Trump. Don't look for Biden. Don't look for none of them. Amen. Look to Jesus. Amen. Jesus is our answer. Amen. God is our answer. But we'll pray and seek God and, and walk the way He wants us to walk. He will heal our land. <coughs> but we sit back and do nothing. I don't know about you, but I'm on my way to heaven. Amen. And my journey gets sweeter every day. Amen. And church, I don't care who they put in, what they do, but we have an obligation. And I tell you, when the wicked people get in there, we, we, should, we should be concerned. Sure. I don't care who they are, because they're destroying our land. 
We don't want more sinners to all right. No, it's not all right because it's destroying our baby. Children, babies, well, they can control their bodies and other stuff. No, it's destroying our land. And God is going to, is going to he will cause it a curse up on our land. Amen. 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 Come on. Hey, well, I said what God says. Amen. Sure. It's abomination to God. Amen. No, we're on our way to heaven. The second church, the book of We're going to pray the second song. I'm on my way to heaven. 